Uh, I'm sorry about that. Oh, it's okay. I, and I, I get energy. I, no matter how I feel, I come out here and I, I feel this, and it, I can't help but feel better. All right. You know? Me too. So, I feel better. Uh, <laughs> so you were just here. You know, sometimes I do interviews after the show, and we do it here on the set, and the audience stays. And there are different people coming out to interview me, and the audience is like polite, but you know, Mario walks out, and they're just going nuts. Like you know, uh, when you're interviewing me, you're the interviewer, and people are just going nuts over you. I, I love uh, I love doing that because uh, extra allows me to you know meet great people like yourself, and it's so much fun. And her audience like like you guys stick around and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I was here last week, and here we are. Here we are. Now, now I'm interviewing you. Yes. And so uh, my question to you is, what what are you doing on Valentine's Day? Do you have a Valentine's Valentine or I'm actually working. As soon as I'm done here, I'm gonna jump on a plane and go. And, oh really? And where yeah, are you going? And we're, I'm going to Vegas. And that sounds. That's. <laughs> that sounds. But, yeah. but but I am actually working. And now, what will you do? What kind of thing? You seem like a romantic guy. You seem like somebody who would actually really put some thought into Thanks. it. Thanks. I, I, you know, it's fun. I, I've learned over the years that um, women really like surprises, and it's not so much how how big the gift is or or what have you, but. Um, they love being surprised, so I like doing like little scavenger hunts. I'm totally giving away now, but little notes here and there, and and if in, in an effort, I think is appreciated because uh -huh. I'm not really that great of a cook. But if the the times that I've tried, they did, they've at least appreciated it, and, and it's gone over well. That, but sometimes that hasn't gone so well, and like uh -huh. if I remember, then it's a good thing right off the bat. If right. I remember Valentine's Day. Yeah. Other times it's I forget. And oh my gosh, and I'm in a hustle. To Make do it stuff. look like that was a surprise. Surprise! I forgot. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> you know. <laughs> So, I've had to fake it a couple of times though. I've yeah. had to fake it. So you have forgotten a lot. Totally. totally. Oh, I don't know that a lot. Uh, yeah. Last minute, I've been I've been okay, but like, uh, uh, not too long ago, I remember. Uh, this is horrible, and please don't think bad of me, but. A girl actually came up to me, like uh, she was a fan or whatever, and she gave me a Valentine's Day basket with like a, uh, you know what I'm gonna say, with like, <laughs> with the bear and the chocolate and the whole thing, and I totally regifted it <laughs> to, my, to my Valentine's. Well, I didn't want it to go. Well, I didn't want it. Well, was I gonna come home with it? And then, so I, I regifted it, and she loved it, but the guilt was killing me. That makes me feel bad. It was bad. But you it didn't tell her. Of course I didn't tell her. Now she knows. Yes. But I'm, I'm not going out with that girl anymore, anyway. So. It was yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm a big regifter as it yeah. is, yeah. so I'm, I'm, <laughs> I love regifting anyway. Good. Well, you go to these like Hollywood parties and 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 they these give you good VIPs, stuff. you get great swag. And I come from like a huge family, and I got like over 50 cousins. So come Christmas time, I'm like, you know, yeah. regifting it all. And they don't know now; they know again. Yeah. But but they appreciate it, yeah. and it's all good. It's nice stuff, right? It is. Mm -hmm. Now your cousin Joe is getting a basket with a bear in it. Going what? Right, don't no, no. Well, that's, yeah. I got to be yeah. clever about yeah. you know who how gets gonna, it exactly. All right, so let's talk about. I'm excited not only to see the show, but to see the dance uh, group that you brought yes. here. So tell us about what the, what is the show? It's fine. It's called uh, America's Best. Uh, dance crew comes out Thursday nights on MTV, and we're we're basically trying to find just that the best dance crew uh, in the country, and it's more like hip hop, sort of clubs, street dancing, and oh, so good. I brought I brought a crew with me good. from Miami called right. Live in Color, and uh, these kids are great. You've guest hosted here so many times. Thank you so much for being Thank here. Thank you for having me. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, well, you, you're you're wonderful uh, to, when you whenever you guest host, but you have surpassed Howie Mandel. You have been here. Is it 43 times? Is that right? Wow. Yep. You've 43. been on the show 43 times. Oh, awesome. First of all, thank you so much again. And, and I'm so glad you haven't gotten Mario Overload uh, <laughs> all, all those times. But I have such a good time. And I love hosting. Your, your team, just shout out to the staff and the team. Yeah. They're awesome. They are. They're so much fun. And the audience is always so much fun. It's honestly. It's the best energy. Everyone comes with a, in a good mood and with a great attitude. It's like the happiest place with the best energy. I love it. And you do like, they have like this little tunnel where they kind of get you all hyped up, little spirit tunnel. Yep. Right? Mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah, there yep. it is. Look at they get you all. <laughs> it's so much fun. And then I pretend like I'm a stand-up comedian at <laughs> the beginning. It's great. I like, I go home with the biggest smile. And I well, then so you're, because I'm starting to get emotional because we're coming to an end here. We have like, I don't know, 35 more shows or something. But you must be getting emotional because now you've, you've been here almost as much as me. I do. I, I know. I do. Every time I come, I'm like, oh my god, I don't want to leave. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to leave. You, because yes. you came here, you you had uh, your both, well, two of your babies. You brought here like almost immediately from the hospital. I did. No, <laughs> seriously, all, all three of them actually. It was like the Lion King. I came and I kind of just showed them off <laughs> like this. That was very, very special moment. Yeah, see, there's. Oh my god, look at how small he is right there. It's great. That's my wife there, and there were so many great memories from, from the babies. I remember when we made out. That's one of my favorites, to be honest with you. Ellen's got super soft lips, by the way, in case anyone's wondering. 
and we started to get a little naughty in the kiss. And I was like, okay, hold on. <laughs> that was memorable. I remember back in the day, too, you, I used to be uh, shirtless a lot, remember? Yeah, well, you, you <laughs> still can if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> No, but so many great memories and all the games and stuff have been fun and uh, yeah, it's just been awesome. Well, you're, I mean, I don't know how you, you and you stepped in at last minute when we had a situation where someone didn't show up and you just were right there, even though you're so busy with your radio show and hosting. And this is your third year with Access Hollywood, right? Correct. Yeah. Correct. And we're, that's still fun. It's so much fun. And that's the thing. Like, I'm a huge fan of TV and, and, and film and music, so I get just as excited to, oh, that was, that was Halloween, and we did a, that was, I did a thing with Risky Business with Tom Cruise, and we, we, do, we do some dance in there, Mario's Minute, we'll have like different uh, fun acts and a lot of dancers, jugglers, or what have you. There was some sort of planking singing challenge, remember when that was going on, whatever was trending. I do remember. So we have a lot of fun, and obviously talk about uh, um, the latest and greatest stories that are going on in Hollywood and uh, stuff in pop culture, so yeah, it's great. So Mario, you've been on all these shows, but the thing you get recognized the most for is promoting movies in hotel rooms. Yeah, you know what's funny, Catherine? Um, the, ho the It's called Must See Movies with Mario, and it's in over a million hotel rooms. Never did I think that that's what people would recognize. I've had everybody from like Oprah to Clint Eastwood oh, wow. come up to me and say, I've seen you in the movie. You know, it's like, wow. I, I was like I'm blown away, because you know, and any baseball players just can't stand me. <laughs> Because they're always on the road, or any sort of athlete right. that's where can they see me in the hotel. But it's yeah, they're pretty relentless. With it. It's like the first thing you turn on. <laughs> Dude, it's so trippy. And that's I do it once a month, and it only takes like 20 minutes, half right. hour, or whatever. That's amazing that that's where everybody recognizes it's you so, from. It's so funny, yeah. That's crazy. Um, hey, you've been here a lot, like we said, so we put something together um, to kind of uh, go down memory lane. Let's take a look. Okay. Tequila? Yes. All salute. Right. Salute. And happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Ellen does not play. Yeah. Ellen does not play. She's got a little Mexican in her, I see. No, that is serious. That's too Really? You didn't even do it. Wow. Let me tell you, if beauty were time, Ellen would be eternity. Oh, that is so... Uh, Mario, that is so nice of you to say. Well... I'm just reading what you wrote for me. <laughs> He's got some course. One. <laughs> That's what you got me. Shut up and kiss your pool boy, Tatiana. Ooh. Forty-five seconds. The most kisses on his shirt uh, is gonna win. Oh, 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 oh. It's like the roosters. Oh my gosh. That, right. that was that was aggressive. That was. <laughs> say hello to my guest DJ today, Mario Lopez. It gets hot over there sometimes, so take your shirt off anytime you want. Okay. I got a little something for you. I got a little tattoo right here. I want you to check it out. See everybody check it out right there? I love Alan. <laughs> I forgot. I love the tequila pours. I remember that. Yeah. They were generous. Yeah, that's my name. Um, <laughs> seriously, uh, I, I, I probably won't see you again on the show. I'll see you someplace else. But I just want to say thank you for being a friend. You have just been so good to us. Uh, and we love having you here. And um, you're just a great guy. Thank you. And I appreciate you so much and love you as well. And all your team here. Thank you very much.